Hi guys, I'm Bobshi, and in this video I'm going to go over the new feature of Pernet, at least as of today, I just pushed it to dev branch and it should go into the public release branch fairly soon, which is the network asset. Now there already is a docs page for it, but obviously I can't explain everything very well in docs, at least to me, uh, so I want to explain it properly in video how to work with it. So first of all, let me explain the use case of network assets. I've shown it in my inventory tutorial and in my roguelike tutorial too, where for example, when we need to network a custom scriptable object or some other asset in Unity, we would need to we would need to essentially make a custom database uh, and then either send the index of the database or make a custom serialization that handles that for us. Now that in itself is not that difficult. It's pretty easy making a custom serializer. However, this is a big quality of life feature to avoid doing exactly that. Essentially in your network manager now, you'll also have this network assets field. Now this doesn't need to be filled out. So contrary to the uh, network prefabs here, where if there's nothing in there, it'll be yellow, tell you that it needs to be one. The network assets you don't actually need. It's more again of a quality of life feature. So you can easily click on the new button and it'll create a new network assets for you. And now you can define the folder of which you want. For example, I want the top down shooter example game here, uh, drag that in here. And now we can choose which types that we want to auto network. Now you can of course manually add stuff to the assets and that should also be handled for you. But if I hit the refresh types list, it'll load all the types that is an entire project and now we can network every type. So I could also just make the whole assets folder, the folder that we searched through. That's completely fine and that'll work just fine. So now for example, if I, let's say I want to network a material, I can just hit material and we can hit generate. I can also, you know, material is selected here. We can also do, let's do scriptable object. It could be if you have a specific scriptable object, like for example, the network prefab scriptables. You could just auto network that type and it'll automatically pull all that's needed. But in my case, for example, let's just do all scriptable objects. So I'm going to select that as well. Now you can see we've selected materials and scriptable objects, which means they will now just work for networking. So if I hit generate, it'll now generate all of them for us. So you can see it found 665 in the in the whole folder as you can see they're all here in the list uh, and you can also enable auto generation by just clicking auto generate and then you know when things changes on validate whatever it'll essentially do the search again i'll recommend having a smaller scoped search for auto generating in general just to not slow down your process although as you notice the generator when i hit it again it's not exactly slow it's pretty quick um, so yeah, now essentially we have all the assets in here. And so this now means that material and scriptable objects should automatically just be easily networked over, well, the network. So I have this little test script here, which all it does is it takes in a material. Then when I hit a button, it'll send an RPC sending that material. And then on the receiving end, they'll just log out what that they received. So we can go easily test that. So I'm going to open up another window here. There we go. So here we have our other window. I'm just going to start up. And notice how now we're both connected and now let me go on to my script and let's hit send material and as you can see it now locally said received material bullet because that's the material that i've chosen and you can see on the receiving end as well it received the type of material bullet and we could easily choose you know any other material i could choose the ground here for example and hit send material and you can see now it's sent ground and it successfully received ground and materials are by default not serializable by the network but because of the network assets and because it's now in the network assets it will automatically handle it for you. And in this case, again, it will be all scriptables and all materials. But again, you can just choose more types if you want more stuff, like let's say animations or whatever. Now, one thing that's important that you understand is this sends references over the network. It's as simple as references, which means changes that I now am to make to a material, let's say that to this material, I am to change the material ground or whatever. It won't sync that because that's still a local change. You will still have to sync that. But now you can easily reference it though. So now you can very easily, for example, say that, uh, let me go stop playing here. So you could, for example, now easily say in your script that this material should be changed to this new color, for example, and that would just work, right? So now we can send black, for example. And now when we send this, it'll now receive the material and the color, for example, which also would make it a lot easier to sync. And because of this, it's not just RPCs, you can also use it with sync types. So we could also do private sync var, or sync list or whatever, sync list of type material. And this will now work as we dynamically add materials to our sync var. Uh, it will just automatically sync because they are now serializable on the network. It's really that easy. So yeah, I hope this little tool is going to be helpful to you. I know this was a very quick video, but there's really not that much to cover. It should hopefully be very easy to use the asset. And if you have any problems, of course, as always, please do join the Pernet Discord. We also release things early there, keep posting updates and a lot more of goodies. So please do join us over in the Discord. Looking forward to seeing you there and have a wonderful day.